Hey there everyone! I hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to talk about single cycle waveforms into the tracker. What are they good for and what you can do with those. First is an example pattern of uh, what I've done. So all those four channels are made out of single cycle waveforms. So I made another video about it. It's on the Concrete Collage uh, YouTube page. At that time, I was still uh, frightened to talk to people like I'm doing now. So I figured that making a new one with explanation would be a good idea. So here are the instruments I made for this session. <laughs> Bass. Polyphonic kind of synth. Another one. This is resampled from uh, something I did earlier. I show you how to do it. This as well. So how to get started with those. Let's use a blank pattern here and create a new instrument. Simple loader. Because those that I've showed you are already processed. First of all, i show you where to find those. So when you get to sample, go to the Stasma and Concrete Collage bank here. Synth. single cycle waveforms. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I've sampled and uh, converted to single cycle waveforms. So let's start with one from the complex oscillator from Verbal Electronics. When you will preview those sounds, you will just hear a click, which is not very helpful. So load any, don't care. Okay, now let's go to sample playback and put it to forward loop. If you do one shot, it will be the same. But if you forward loop, then it will loop and then you will have a tone. And if you want to change, change from here. Now that you have this one cycling, you can just load another one on top of it. I've usually labeled those from the less complex with less harmonics to the most complex. Let's take a basic one like this. And what we are going to do right now in order to have choice later is we are going to copy this and choose four different waveforms. <laughs> Okay. This one will be for bass. This one for one synth. Let's go to another source. Let's take a pulse from the GX3P, why not? And some buggy triangle from the surge. Those are my favorites. Okay, so now we have So let's unmute everything. We'll start on track one and make a bass. So I think this waveform here. So now we need to go into the instruments parameter 
in order to change the way this behaves. First, the volume. Now let's add a filter to this. We're going to use the classic subtractive synthesis method. We're going to remove frequencies out of this reach waveform. Okay, let's add some modulation to this filter. Now, let's take the next one. Uh, disgusting. bass and a kind of polyphonic weird stuff. Let's uh, try to add something else. Some sort of harp maybe. Let's try this. we can do with that. Some random panning over there. Ton of reverb. Eight bits. Just for some context, let's add some drums on top of this. of love for now. Now, uh, let's do some more complicated or more in-depth stuff. Let's say you want something like a detune two oscillator sound for your bass. This is what I did here. This is the result. Oh, yeah, I did that. I took my bass. Basically, you just put another note, the same one, on another channel. And here, come and micro tune it a little bit. Let's 
it, it's good. Now we can select this, render selection, detune. Two, because there's already a one. Render load. And here we are. So basically you can really use those single cycle waveforms as building blocks for creating sounds. Let's do another even more complicated one. I'm going to copy this sound we made, paste it here. So here instead, so there's the two. And now I can maybe choose different different filter on the second one for phasing. Let's add some random LFO to this. Triangle would be better for later. Yeah, that's good. Let's add some LFO to fine tune for weird, weird detune. If you want a long sound, just make a 64 or whatever you want, but a longer version of it. Massive detune, this one. And here we have a very long modulated bass. Let's make something out of that. made a classic mistake is that as the root note of my scale is D sharp or flat, whatever. So now that I've made this, it's the root note is D flat. So if I play D flat, it's actually not a D flat. It's a it's transpose by three semitones. So if you want to do this, you should not do as I did and you should do it on a C. Let's do it, maybe. Hop. What to name? Outstanding instruments. That's perfect. Okay, so basically we can take a up. See the difference? So now we are on the proper scale. Another use, let's take those, those pills, because we're doing, going to do kind of the same thing. So let's base everything around the C. Yeah, we can make a chord. So this will become mono after we I don't know what will happen with the stereo modulation here. So we'll see, I guess.
Okay, so here now we have it's making tremble. And to do sounds like uh, this one basically just did the exact same thing here but instead of playing it in one shot I've used the granular mode and then you just need to uh, apply some modulation to the granular position, like an envelope. Here you go, single cycle waveforms. Those are fun. There's a hell lot of them in the bank I showed you. To remember, samples, Stasma and Concrete Collage, Synth, single cycle waveforms. There's a lot. And we can also, I'm pretty sure you can find a lot uh, on, for free online. So have fun, see you next time.